Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel, Tech Lead and Partner at Westfall. Now, last video I talked about PHP developers and are they being paid less than the rest of the developers in the atmosphere. One of the questions that a lot of people ask is, I love PHP, I build applications in PHP, how do I get more money? How do I get paid more uh, as a PhD developer? And this is a pretty interesting area and that's why I want to cover three points on how you can increase your dollar value as a PHP developer especially if you are a freelancer or you are actually applying for a job in the company right three ways you can do that as a tech lead so let's get into it the first point right is to educate your customer right one of the biggest issues is that your customer does not even know what they are getting it if you're a freelancer and a customer walks in right you try to educate them on what has changed in PHP the value of PHP and how it matches with the latest languages that are out there talk about the value that they're getting the speed of PHP 7 and all the modern usages of a framework so education is very important. I find a lot of PHP developers just chuck out their skill there and say, here you go. The first thing, educate your customer, take them through what is you're actually doing, what is the value they're getting in, whether you are building a uh, framework level like Laravel or E2, or you're using something like a CMS, like Drupal or WordPress. Are you customizing it? Are you coding it? Why are you doing it? Some form of education is important. Don't just dump it on the client down there. Explain away the different benefits, the server, stuff like that. That's one way that you can educate your customer. A lot of people don't know this. The second way you can actually increase your per hour rate is to simply be more efficient. Now, a lot of developers complain. They work a lot of hours, right? And they get paid very little. Let me give you some insight from the client side. The client doesn't really care, especially don't care how many hours you worked on the software. They don't really bother too much. What they care is the outcome. That's why it's critical that you be very efficient in what you're doing. And I tell this to all the people that I meet. If you're doing WordPress, try to specialize in WordPress. If you're doing PHP, try to specialize in PHP framework, E2, Laravel, whatever it is, even Vue.js. Why? The more efficient you are, the less time you spend, the higher your dollar value per hour is. Being very efficient can really increase your earnings as a developer because you don't waste so much time. Remember, we all have a limited amount of time. I see all these people out there struggling, knocking out, doing so many things. They're doing Drupal, they're doing WordPress, they're doing uh, Magento, they're doing all this. You know how much they're burning all their time. So efficiency can really jam up your returns because clients, they don't care. When it comes to companies, yes, they might want to say, okay, if you do, uh, you're more efficient, I'm going to give you more work, right? So that's companies, that's another point. And that brings me to my third point which is learn to walk away. This is a key point here. A lot of PHP developers, especially some from the, some countries, right, take every single job they can get, even though the clients are unrealistic or the rates are too low. They find that they uh, will take everything because they are dealing with customers that don't know value, right? You deal with people starting a small business, people with a few, a little small budget, they can't afford this kind of stuff. Now, I find too many software developers in these countries, especially if they want to do a good job. If you want to do a crappy job where you just copy some code off stack over and chuck it, fine, you know, put whatever price you want. But if you're interested in doing a good job, and rivaling the performance of Node.js and all these other guys in Go, right? Then you will learn, you should learn how to walk away from when the rates are not there. You say, look, I cannot make this work. This is an important part for everybody in the industry. 
because if somebody is willing to do it badly at a very cheap price, it brings down everything. Now, this is the most relevant when you look at languages like um, TensorFlow or Java or Go, where there's, these developers are simply saying, no, nope, I'm not interested in this. This is below that level. So that's a critical point. Learn to walk away. If you don't think it's mechanical, learn to walk away from that job. And then you'll see, right, if you did point one well enough, you point two, you're good enough, you will find that you might get some clients who understand this and they come back to you and they offer you that slightly higher or higher rate, right? So use these three things. It's not the end of the world. If you're a software developer in PHP, learn to upgrade your value, okay? So I'm the tech lead and that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.